Yo, this is Chill Scrub here. So today is going to be some general thoughts about Tekken 7. The game has been two years in, and as far as I'm concerned, the game is still complete ass. Rank match, ass. Player match, ass. Player base, ass hold. Uh, Harada, I got a lot of hope for Season 3. I hope it's a lot better than Season 2 and 1. But as far as general thoughts are concerned, I would rather start talking about the rank match system and this conflated thing that, or inflated thing that rank is a lot easier. I mean, could it ever just be the case that you just got fucking better? Like, I, I wonder. People always say, oh, rank match is free, rank match is free, rank match is free, but they're not taking that prime. I mean, the, and to me, the entire game itself is easier compared to its predecessors, but Rank match in Tekken 7 has not gotten that much easier. I mean, you got people that still got 3,000 wins that stuck at Mighty Ruler, 3,000 wins stuck at Gamble, 3,000 wins stuck at Biako. So I'm trying to figure out where it got easier. Now, as far as the player base, this is why nobody really gets into Tekken because, for the most part, y'all are assholes. Me and myself included, I'm a huge ass troll. You know, if you watch my stream before, you can see me like beating the shit out of one of my opponents and then trolling them later. But not to the point or to the extent that I see on the regular. People, it's like, it's almost as if Tekken 7 is legit crack. You taunt somebody, you rage quit, you have a huge ego, you're not a Tekken God Prime, but you feel like you can defeat every Tekken God Prime. People are still boosting at the end of Season 2. I'm, I'm confused. Why are the, why the fuck are we still boosting in Tekken 7? It's, a, it's Tekken, yo. You call out a booster, you, they, they try to, they try to act like they don't, Nick, you, you boost, you're trash, you ass, you suck at the game, you, you suck at life. If you boost on Tekken 7, you suck at life. I don't care how you feel about it, you can run the first to five. And that's another thing, what's what the, just run the, run the first to five, you act like this is a legit fight, like we're gonna actually, like, actually fight each other in real life and beat each other's ass. That, that's not gonna happen. Another thing is players' egos. That is the most... Thing that I hate about Tekken, yo, people like be swearing like, yo, I'm the best Tekken player ever. Get smashed on in the first of five, yo, I'm still the best Tekken player ever. Get smashed on again, I'm the best Tekken player ever. There's no way in hell I could smash you twice. You keep blowing up my fucking inbox, but you're the best player ever. Oh man, you know, if I would've just blocked that hell sweep, I would've beat you. No, nigga, you got destroyed. It, it, it happens. I, I get destroyed too, like shit. I, I'm, I get freed up a lot sometimes. It, it happens. But no nigga can hold the L because the ego so, so goddamn big, but they know Tekken got prime! What's up, babe? I'm sorry, I can't help that I speak fast, babe. I, I just do. Like, I get passionate about this Tekken shit. I get passionate about these fucking idiots that love this damn game so much but suck so bad. We have players out here that play this game night and day. And what I mean by night and day, I literally mean night and day. I wake up at 6 o'clock in the fucking morning, right? Right? You feel me? Hit me up. Six o'clock in the morning. Throw my clothes on, brush my teeth, brush uh, and brush this ugly ass head I got. Hop out, go to work. On the bus ride, y'all yeah, ride the motor bus, nigga. So what? I still got my money. Whatever. Um, I look at my I look at my PSN on my phone, right? And it says this, 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 and this nigga on online, right? Cool. You can play the game, bro. You can get your practice in. But. I get off at four. All right, they still on game. I'm like, all right, cool. They they getting it in. They're trying to come become good players, right? It's eight to four. I'm tired of shit. I've been up since six o'clock in the morning. I'm not playing this shit, all right? Life. I'm pretty sure you got. If you're if you're listening to this and you're having clicked off by now, you have a life. So uh, I'm looking. 4 p.m. Okay, still on. 5 p.m. Still okay, still on. 6 p.m. Okay, still on. Nigga, it's 11 o'clock, right? And they still own this shit! No breaks, no eating, no sleeping, no fucking, no nothing. Just, just teching, right? Right? Here's kicker. Wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning, the same niggas is on in the same group chat talking the same shit. It's not funny. You, you have to see this shit to believe it. Right? So when I hop on the game, right, I expect these niggas to be fired, right? They, they supposed to be beating my ass. They play this game, they play this shit 
24 fucking seconds. He probably pissing a bottle or some shit. And he probably got a, they, 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 they got a little 40 porta potty or some shit. And they shit in there. And they, they keep playing the game. They don't, they don't ever get off the game. So, like, they're going to beat my ass, right? I get on the game, they get destroyed. Why is that happening? They're, they're pro players. Like, how do you play the game that much and still suck? It's beyond me. But these are the same people, if you watch EVO, if you watch the previous EVO that just happened, 20, uh, 2019 EVO, which was fucking glorious. Shout out to Arsenal for whooping the ass, even though Kazumi's boring as fuck. I'm trying to learn. She's boring as fuck. But they will in the comments, she will be like, yo. Nigga will be like, yo, I'm better than Arsenal. Well, why didn't me do this? Well, there's a reason why me and Arsenal are in Grand Finals and we are watching, because compared to them two guys, you're ass. It's okay. It's okay. Trust and believe it's okay to be ass at ten. It's alright because not all of us are gonna be great players. It's okay. I know it's a tough pill to swallow and the main man sweet and King J and whoever the else the fuck you watch always tell you that you're gonna be a great No, if you just suck, you just suck. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. You can get better. But not all of us are gonna be Evo champions, bro. But they be in the comment section saying, oh yeah man, I should you should have done this and why he do this and why he do this. Okay, then why are you watching the not at Evo? Same thing with rank match. Oh, yeah, man, you know, rank match is so fucking easy. I can get Tekken God Prime easy. Not a Tekken God Prime. Oh, I just choose not to go to rank match excuses. I mean, I'm not saying the same, I'm not trying to say that rank match is everything, because it's not. But if you're gonna talk that shit like you can just destroy everybody on rank match, the least you can do is at least get, at least Tekken God. I'm not saying Tekken God Prime, at least Tekken God, at least Emperor. Do not be a Genbu sitting here talking shit like you can destroy everybody and you're a Genbu with 3,000 wins. Or you get one win on somebody and then you dip. That's another thing that I hate about this fucking game, yo. They give you the the, re, uh, the resources to play a person infinitely if they, if they allow you. First game, run. You know it's bad when I have to let a person win the first game so they'll keep playing me. I have, literally have to finesse my way into some matches, yo. Because if I put those smack down on them early, they ain't gonna play me. I'm like, oh no, nah, nigga, I just got smoked. They're gonna lose this, this fucking. What, what rank am I? I'm at Rajin. What, what, what characters do I have? I'm finna lose this hot ass Eternal Ruler, nigga. Nigga, it's Eternal. It's a fucking video game. It's, it's Eternal Ruler. Get over yourself. You, you, you're trash. It's okay. You're rubbish. And then you got the clout chasers on fucking on, on YouTube. I'm like, nigga, nobody is really watching this shit unless you like the main man, Sweet King J, etc. Or uh, me, Cherry Berry Mango. You know those guys. Nigga, you're not even getting views like that. And then there's the ongoing beefs in Tekken. I'm... You know, I used to think, well, because I'm, I'm originally a, like a Street Fighter Soul Calibur. Man, I would play a little Tekken when I was younger. And I thought Street Fighter was toxic because I came up heavy in Street Fighter 4. There is nothing more toxic and more stu stupid than fucking Tekken 7. Like, like, the people that play this, especially the newcomers that feel like they have an input, they have an input, but they feel like they have a legit opinion about something. Typically don't. They be like, Tekken 7 is the greatest Tekken of all time. Nothing wrong with, with saying that. Uh, but when I question their logic on their or their reasoning on why they think Tekken 7 is the greatest, they often get mad. They be like, yo. I'd be like, Tekken 7 is not the greatest Tekken. This is this is a game with too many comeback mechanics and too many ways out. You got power crushes, rage art, rage drives, and characters, in, in my opinion, that fundamentally just don't belong in the game. They're getting the game, fine, I learned how to deal with them, okay, but fundamentally they just don't belong in the game. Oh, you just hate Tekken 7 and you just hating Harada, man? Hop off Harada sack! Shit! But anyway, you got those players, but... Please, if, you, if you're a Tekken 7 player, and you have an ego like this, I'm talking about you. And if you feel some kind of way, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Stop it. You make people hate the game, though. Like, this is the only Tekken I've ever played in my life where if I don't play this shit, I'm okay. Now, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, I know people be like, well, Tag 2 is not great either. It's better than Tekken 7. It's better. It's okay. So, I don't have to worry about... If there's like a small lapse in my pressure, that a person is literally mashing rage art like a fucking retard, 
and ends up getting half my fucking health and all that dude is tax taking. I don't have to worry about that shit. But it was like, well, you know, the damage in Tag 2 was fucking crazy. And you got niggas like Geese, Akuma, and so forth that is taking niggas health bars for the fucking... And Marta, God, for, for Christ's sake, fucking Marta is taking niggas health bar for the free. But we want to talk about Tag 2 damage. The difference between Tag 2 damage and Tag 7 damage, the combos were a lot harder to pull off. If you want that max damage, that glorious, sweet health bar that we all desire in them red bar combos, if you want those sweet combos, those magnificent, beautiful combos, you had to do some work. And nine times, I know I won't say nine times, but I say about a good five times or six times out of ten, you might just drop it, right? right? On this game, I hit a few, let's say I'm playing Marta, right? Do your stand-up launcher. Do your standard string, then you knock down, then you get tackled, and then there's 75%. Boom. Easy. Free. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Tekken 7 is just... With all that being said, I do enjoy the game from time to time. I play with friends and such and such. And such. It's cool. I have a lot of hopes for season three, but as far as right now in late season two, this game is complete ass. The people, LTT, and other group chats say some of the most idiotic things I have ever seen in my fucking life. Niggas, when niggas talk about tiers in a, in a fighting game, I talk about when I think about high tier character or S tier or A tier character, I'm talking about all around characters or things they have that are so strong they don't need other things. When I say that Law is S tier and he's a top three, there's a reason why I say that. One, Law has everything you need. He has a great throw game. He has a command break for each one. He has a command break for one, two, and one plus two. He has excellent poking. He has excellent home moves. He has the total package. He has good lows, strong mids, good highs. He has it all. And on top of that, he's not hard to use execution-wise. Then you got play characters like Jin. Jin has everything and the nigga is broken. Nerf him. There are idiots that play Tekken that say Jin needs a buff. You're smoking dick if you think that Jin needs a buff. I'm sorry. The character literally has everything. 4-4, four, 4, four electric, mid-electric, combo damage out the fucking world, great throw game, great mix-up game, what else do he need? Great lows, mids, highs, etc. Great. Everything. People kill me. Another thing that kills me about a lot of the Tekken community as far as season 2 and some of season 1 is the fucking people that, are, that have this groupthink mentality about uh, about a certain topic, if we want to talk about good characters like I was talking about earlier as tier, as, uh, tiers, they will go with the popular opinion. Well, you know, me said, and the main man Swed said, oh Swed said, and King J said, and uh, Nobi said, and, and Saint said, and all these other players said, nigga, I'm talking about you, nigga, what's your opinion on the game? Because a lot of people swear they don't have an opinion on the game, but when you give them an opinion, they say, they say somebody else that doesn't make fucking sense. If I asked you about the game, why are you quoting somebody else that's just when this word is gospel? I'm confused. I'm lost. Help. Help me. Help me. Help me. Because it's almost like a cult-like following. If you say, okay, let's take this whole Nina thing where the main man's we posted a video about how easy Nina was. To this day, I do not think that Nina's an easy character. I do not think that you can just button mash your way to the top. I just don't think so. And people be like, well, you saw the main man sweet do it. The main man sweet is better than a good 75% of the Tekken community with relative ease. He's easily whooping most people's asses. For so him to say he does it with ease when he has better fundamentals than half the people that play this damn game, that's not saying much. Let's see you pick it up and get that character to Tekken God Prime off of matching uh, down 3 4 and. Uh, What's that shit she does? That's been there since Tekken fucking 3. Uh, y'all don't fucking talk about uh, up 4 at 3 4. It's doing that shit. Let's see you get Tekken God off of that. Oh, you can't, right? Exactly. Because the character actually takes some fucking work. Now, do I, do I, does, does the character annoy me? Yes. Do I like the character? Hell no. But I do have a different opinion than just the main man sweet and everybody else. Just like people be like, uh, Kazuya is brain dead. 
in some instances, I have to agree. The fact that I, uh, once I knock you down, it's party time. I feel like that's complete bullshit. I don't have to work. But here's the kicker. If you block it, I die. So if you block the hell troop, I die. If you block the 4-4-3, four, four, my turn is over. People think that move is plus. That's how I know people suck at the game. The move is like minus 3, minus 4. You, it's your turn after that. Kazooie can size up at the, at the best. That's, that's all he can do. He, he cannot continue pressure if he does going to get his ass popped for it. Or you get the 4-4 four, and four, no plus 4. Or you stay grounded and I have to go 4-4-4. Four, four, four. So you have options. You like, oh my god, Kazooie's fucking vortex is so, so fucking crazy. Nigga, niggas don't even know what a fucking vortex is. They just be quoting shit. What is up with the fucking YouTube Tekken community just swagger jacking everything they see? From titles, from YouTube names, to fucking thumbnails, everything, to mannerisms, all that. They swag jack everything. I know I'm going on a rant because this is normally what it is, but uh help me. Tekken community, help me. Help me. Help me. There are people that have not played prior Tekken's because they think a lot there are noobs that say that Tekken 7 is cheap. Tekken 7 is not cheap. Tekken 7 is pacified. Tekken 7 is, is brain dead to me. If you want to talk about a cheap Tekken, let's try Tad 1, T4. I say T5. T6 was complete ass. I don't know how people like T6. T6 was complete garbage. Tad 2 was pretty fun. And people always want to go about this whole thing about Tekken 7 is the most balanced Tekken. Nigga, where? How? Please, in the comment section, if, if you watch this through this point, please comment to me how Tekken 7 is any different than in, in its predecessors. Please, I'm, I'm dying to fucking know because my opinion of that matter is that it's really not. The reason why I say it is, it's still fucking broken, all still fucking good. There are certain characters that just cannot be certain characters on paper, no matter how you slice it. There is no way in hell on paper, besides the player himself that's just that fucking good, that is beating a good gen player versus a good uh, Gigas player. You can put fucking Run It Black versus fucking me that's playing fucking uh, Gigas, and I'm, yeah, if you put your money on fucking me just for the sake of being me and he plays all the characters in the game, you're fucking lost your damn mind. You're talking about a gen specialist versus a fucking Gigas player that may, uh, uh, that, 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 pretty, that nigga smoke with you. Gigas loses that matchup. Gigas is the worst character in the game. There are there's a reason why certain characters get played. It's not about balance. It's just certain like any other fighting game. There are certain characters that are better than others. Balance, no. Because if that's the case, people are like, well, how come I see? I won't say just winning, but I see the most popular characters are the same characters that do very well. But on that note, before I lose my fucking voice scream at this damn camera, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce. If you want to subscribe to the channel, if you just want to talk shit, if you think I'm a fucking moron for my opinion, please by all means comment. Let's have a discussion. If you want to run first to five because you feel like you're better than me, by all means, if you win, I don't give a shit. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I will, uh, I guess, catch you next time for another rant video. Peace.